For many people, the phrase all night long reminds them of a Lionel Richie song. For me, it evokes a memory of a most challenging but truly rewarding Kaizen event in South Central Florida. You see, I was working for a furniture company and the problem that they wanted to solve was that they had to run these computer programs at the end of the evening after all their showrooms had closed. And for a period of time, they actually couldn't run their e-commerce and were losing revenue potential. The goal was to cut the time by 75% or more and open up a bunch more potential e-commerce revenue. Now, the reality of this was that these programs ran overnight. So we would have to change our sleep schedules to run this Kaizen starting at Sunday night at 7 p.m. and finishing up on Friday at the end of the week. So I'm an early bird, so changing my sleep schedule was going to be a challenge. So I normally fly in the day before any Kaizen event and set, set up the room with my team leader. Because we were starting on Sunday night, I had to fly in on Saturday just to be safe. So I came in on Sunday at 5 p.m. to set up. And the team joined us for dinner at 6.30 p.m. And the chief information officer joined us and stayed the entire night. Very, very impressive. We took a gamble walk into one of the local showrooms and watched as they closed out their receipts for the night and generated a bunch of reports. Then, and asked a lot of questions and came up with a bunch of different ideas. Then from there, we went back into the meeting room and watched for four and one half hours as computer programs were generating different parts of the closing process. Now the team was made up of mostly IT people and they were enthralled by what they were seeing. I, however, had no idea what I was looking at and I was trying my best to stay awake. You see, it would be bad form if the facilitator from the outside were to fall asleep during a Kaizen. Now, there was a period of time in the middle of all these computer programs generating that e-commerce couldn't run. So we set our baseline at 92 minutes. And so our goal, again, was to try to cut this by 75%. Now, once we saw all the work that the programs were doing, we mapped the process visually and identified many opportunities and ideas to reduce that time. At about 4.30 a.m., we called it the final time for the day, and we were all going to go back to our homes and for me to the hotel. Now, my sleep cycle was totally messed up. So I, I went back to the hotel, fell asleep for about three hours, woke up, got some breakfast, did some work, tried to take another nap, and then went back into the, the facility on Monday evening. Now the team was excited because they had a bunch of ideas they thought they could implement immediately. And it was all on the computer. So normally during Kaizen events, I rotate amongst groups, listen to their conversations, give them ideas on how to accomplish their work, and maybe even help them. In this case, I felt pretty useless because I could not do any of the computer work. But I kept things moving with multiple check-ins to make sure that the teams were heading in the right direction and were aligned in their approach. Now, Tuesday morning, we had made so many changes that the team agreed instead of staying overnight the following two nights, we would take a day off and then rotate our schedules back to a day shift. Well, I was more than relieved, but I was kind of wondering how would I adjust my sleep pattern in the middle of the week? Once again, I went to the hotel and I fell asleep immediately and woke up about three or four hours later, tried to do some work, took a short cat nap, did some more work, and then about 9 p.m. tried to take my full evening sleep. Well, of course, it didn't work out quite like I wanted, but still got some measure of sleep. Now, from then on, the teams made huge amounts of changes and improvements, and on Wednesday night, they had installed the bulk of their critical changes and on Thursday morning when we came in, we found out that the programs ran for just 57 minutes. This was a number that had never been seen. It had never gotten that low. So the team was quite excited. This was, And it was a new record. Now, 
We didn't hit our goal during the week, but what was really great was the team continued to work on improvements that they had identified for a number of months, and they actually achieved their goal, saving their company many hundreds of thousands of dollars. I hope this story provided you with some inspiration to revisit your own processes. I have a lot more I'd like to share. Head over to pi-partners.com to learn how I can help. And check back from time to time for more Kaizen stories.